Welcome Taurus. Okay, so we are looking at what is going on for you and um, what it is that you need to look at over the next two weeks. Okay, so we are using, what are we using? Nature's Whispers Oracle Cards. We are using the Grace Cards to find out what it is that you need over the next two weeks, okay? And the Osho Zen for clarification. So, Give these a little shuffle. If you haven't done your activation yet, Taurus, make sure you go and do it. I will link it to the end of this video, but um, yeah, make sure you go and do that, okay? So let's have a look. Be gentle with yourself. Very, very nice. Wow, I love these cards. They're so beautiful. So let's have a look here, Taurus. This is interesting. I feel like, for some of you, You've taken time away, um, even if it's just been in your mind, you've taken time away from from reality, I feel. Um, it could be that some of you have been allowing things to arise out of you um, that maybe you have had trouble looking at in the past. I feel like there's been, sorry, let me just, yes, there's been some, some sort of connection made You've made some sort of connection. It's like you've it's like you've taken a step back from your life, if you like, and sort of seen things from a different point of view. Tell me more about this. Be gentle with yourself, the Taurus. Maturity. Yeah. I really love this energy for you, Taurus, because I feel as though what's been happening is that you know you've needed to have a release and some sort of clearing from within you, and you've you've taken the time to do that, okay? You've taken the time to allow whatever it is that needs to be released um, to come out And there's been this, the feeling that I get is this authentic, um, nurturing of self that has happened here, okay? Um, it's really like you've had sort of like the vision or sort of like the knowledge, whether that's been from inside of you or outside of you, you've been given the knowledge to show you that if you just do something this way, it's going to help you grow. Um, it's going to help you grow something that is authentic to you. That that isn't what you should do or you feel you should do or what everyone says you should do. It's what is in your heart of hearts, if you like. And I feel like this time out is for you to decide what that is that you want to grow. Okay? Mm. Very interesting, Taurus. Inner truths. Wow, yeah. See, look at this here. This is really, this card to me is about going inside, going deep within, looking at different avenues, um, sort of traveling down different paths, but they, they're paths of yourself, okay? And being utterly honest, okay? Um...
I feel like actually I want to get these cards before I say because I'm not too clear it's like the information comes and then quickly goes again and I'm not quite catching it so I'm not too sure yeah I don't want to go and give you start rambling on and then it's it's not the track we're meant to go down we've got moment to moment here and we've got receptivity um you see there's this growth again and I am loving this for you Taurus absolutely loving this with this inner truths here, you see with this card here, I feel like this person is walking step by step, but they're not opening their eyes. I don't know if you can see that or not, but their eyes are closed. And, and, and it's sort of like they're just winging it. They're hoping when they put their foot forward that it lands on something a solid surface, right? They're not actually looking around them to see what the other options are to travel along the journey. And... Um, and I really do feel like that that may have been the case that you, that you were sort of like creating by default, default if you like, um, and hoping for the best, traveling along the path and just hoping for the best instead of actually traveling consciously. Okay, with this inner truths card here, this gives you the option to tra travel consciously, like actually going within and saying, okay, now which path? Do I want to travel and why do I want to travel it? What is it that I'd like to learn from that? Obviously, there's going to be lessons that you um, didn't know were there or, you know, unexpected lessons that pop up, which is great because it's still learning. OK, but I feel like for you, Taurus, that this is about going within and shining the light on what it is that needs to be revealed and I'm not talking about any trauma or any bad things. I'm talking about also the great things about you, Taurus, okay? Um, to be receptive, to allow this growth to happen, okay? Uh, because I feel like for some of you, there's been quite the internal battle going on for, for a really long time. And... And it's as though you're starting to understand the difference between allowing this internal battle to take place and actually seeing how it holds you back to what it looks like when you travel away from that battle, when you don't allow that battle to have power over you and rule your life, and that you can actually move forward with a lot more ease when that isn't taking place because you're no longer allowing that to take place okay pause pause yes you see there's been this sort of arrest that some of you have taken here okay um at least having taken a moment before walking through another one of these portals in a sense, yeah, pausing to really consider which direction you want to go in. Um, but let's have a look at what pause has to say. Well, okay. <laughs> Understanding. One, well, hang on a minute, Taurus. And new vision is the other card that's leaped out here. Understanding love it you you know this is this is the same thing to me this is you sitting at the at the not the entrance of the cage but the exit of the cage sitting at the exit of the cage here ready to take flight and it's nerve-wracking and it's scary and it's just taking that moment to go okay deep breath before I leap forward okay and the thing is Taurus that you know that you have the ability to fly I feel like you know it up here but what is going on in here is a whole different ball game and when you do you will reach heights that you never knew that you could reach I feel like this is breaking out of patterns that have kept you down for so incredibly long um that 
you know, that you've also allowed to hold you down for so long. You know, this is really coming up from the depths of despair, I feel. This is rising up here. Um, and yeah, this is you really stepping into your element. Okay, so let's have a look here at what else we have. Open your heart. I'm noticing here that we've got these circles going on here. We've got this moon up here. Is it a moon? Yes, it's a moon. We've got this circle here and we've got this circle here. Now I need to sneeze. Hang on a minute. Goodness me, it's all going on, isn't it? Okay, Taurus, open your heart. I feel like, Taurus, it's a matter of, because it's so easy to say, just open your heart up, just do that, you know, but it's it's looking at why is it closed, you know, because it's not so easy, especially if you've been hurt, it's not so easy to open that heart up, right? Tell me more about this silence, we've got silence, so going into the silence maybe to tap into why. Your heart is closed, but you probably already know why it's closed, Taurus. It could be that you need to go into that silence. To, uh, do you see these jumping up here? It's so cool, hey, when they jump up like that. Okay, hanging in the balance here as well. Look at this, schizophrenia. In two minds, in two minds. Not sure which direction to go in. Um... I feel like for some of you, you're in a comfort zone and that's where you want to remain because it's safe. Um, and I get that. I get that. And it's okay to feel, to, it's okay to be in that, but it's really, I suppose, looking at it, Taurus, and understanding when it is actually holding you back, okay? Because I feel like the comfort zone we create for ourselves so that we can heal, and this is such an important part of our journey is, is doing that work and healing, right? Conscious healing, not just letting time do the healing. That's not, no, you've got to do the work, okay? Um But yeah, I feel like in order for you to open your heart, it is really a matter of going into this silence, okay, into, into this space of nothingness so that you can rise up from this position of hanging in the balance here and, and which still feels very vulnerable. It's like you don't want to make... You don't want to stand on either side because you're not sure which side is the best to land on. And so it's easier just to hang in that balance because it might be uncomfortable, um, but at least you know it. Um, and I feel like your fear is this and not wanting to open up to make yourself vulnerable again because of the fear of getting hurt again. Okay, again, that's understandable. But do you want to hang like that for the rest of your life? I can hear you going, yep. <laughs> do you though? Because I feel like there's this part of you that really would love to have this loving relationship there's a loving relationship happening here there's I don't know if you've seen it or not but there's a face over here behind this one just behind her head and this is what she's dreaming of this is what ultimately she ultimately she would love to happen but she's so used to this embrace of the swan in this comfort zone that 
it's not that's not actually what she truly wants she wants this dream of this loving relationship hmm let's have a look here shift your energy okay okay so this is what you need to do right now is shift your energy i feel like there needs to be this cleansing for you you need to cleanse your entire energy around you okay one way to do that is get a selenite wand and clear your energy this way going for a walk you know, um, a salt bath with Epsom salts, good way to clear your energy, meditating, you know, making sure you're always white lighting yourself as well, yeah, standing in a bubble of white light, should be doing that every day, that's a, a good way to clear your energy, taking anything that is not authentically you to the highest source of light, commanding for that to happen, okay, um, do feel like for some of you there's a lot of um, unnecessary debris clinging onto you that needs to be cleared whether that be through thoughts or emotions or um, just maybe holding on to things that no longer serve you okay so they need to be cleared guilt we've got here and we've had fighting flip over as well okay so this could be yeah see the thoughts as well the thoughts here just clawing at your head you know, um, and we've got this fighting here, and in the background there's these two fighting, but I feel like this could be this battle inside of your head, okay, and we've got this person in armour just ready to fight, and um, if this is the energy that you're in right now, this is what needs to be shifted, okay, um, and this could be a coping mechanism. It could be a mode of protection for you. But I, I, I do get the sense here, Taurus, that this is definitely holding you back. And um, you don't necessarily need to be in that um, energy all of the time in order to protect yourself. Okay. It's, it's incredibly exhausting and draining, and I feel as though this is something that you need to step out of, okay? Do the work to remove yourself from that energy, okay? Shift it. Yeah. Really getting out of nature, going for bushwalks, going to the, um, you know, dipping your feet in the the um, water at the beach, okay, letting that take, carry away all your worries and concerns, okay, this is going to help you to clear your energy, make a shift, every time you get into this state, every time this state overwhelms you, move, physically move, okay, whether you do a workout or go for a walk or whatever, move, okay, to shift yourself out of that, okay, Really try not to sit in it. Be your best self always. I love this. See, and this here, this I feel, Taurus, is all about vibration. Okay, and this is who your best self is. All right, and um, I feel as though... <sighs> There's something here, Taurus, that it could be that your environment is not the best for you right now, okay? I feel as though you, for some of you, you're, you're not in your natural habitat. You're not in your natural environment. Um, and, and even if this is just energetically, um, but it could also be the people around you okay, or where you're living, um, there's something about you not, it's, it's sort of like Taurus, you can't really express yourself in the way that you desire to, or the natural way that you normally do, because of your environment, and I feel like steps need to be taken in order for you to get back to that, okay, because this mermaid here, 
I just wonder here if this one here is the mermaid and she's laying with the swan because the swan is the closest that she can get to home. Um, and it's almost like that's what it is like for you. And when you're in your element is when you're in the water riding the seahorse under the sea, you know. And so I feel feel like this is something and you may not even know what that environment is yet this may be something that you're yet to discover but I feel as though this is very important for you to really look at what it is when you know think back to when you were at your happiest and what was going on for you there then and where were you and who was around you you know um yeah, so that you can really recreate that for yourself or at least create a version of that for yourself so that you're feeling like you are performing at your optimal ability. Slowing down. Slowing down. Okay, so there might be too much going on for some of you. It could be that there's so much going on for some of you that you're actually unable to take the time out or not unable to, you're under the impression that you are unable to take the time out to enjoy what it is you love doing the most, okay? And I want to say to make that a priority, that thing that you love doing the most, that needs to be your priority right now, okay? Um... Yeah. And I feel as though, because I feel like this turtle is headed towards the beach, which is where he belongs, and he's almost there. And um, what I want to say is, and it's though, though, Taurus, I feel like it's like you know the direction you want to head in, you know potentially what this is and this may be what you're actually working towards but you're going so hard at it because it's so much you're like if I just work harder and if I don't just work longer at it I'll get there sooner but it's sort of like what could potentially happen is that you could exhaust yourself to the point where you just can't take the last few steps because you're so exhausted so Understand that what is meant for you will always be. If it's if it's meant for you, you're not going to miss out. Okay, so I really do feel like it's important for you to pace yourself. Okay, have some fun here, Taurus. Have some fun. Too much seriousness. <laughs> you need to really get down and just experience the joy of the journey, really is what needs to happen for you. Okay, so let's have a look at our grace cards here. Surprise! Look at this. Okay, so this says, keep an open mind. The influence of grace is often found in unexpected places. Okay, and so this could be why the slowing down is so important and to have fun, right? Because this may very well be where you find grace, right? Um, in those unexpected places. Okay, what's the next one here? Peace. Oh, I love this. Oh, give me the hiccups here. When we balance silence with activity, silence with activity, We discover true peace of mind, the source of all joy and happiness. Love that. I love that, Taurus. This is perfect for you. This really is about balancing it because at the moment there is a topple. And, um, and I feel like, yeah, this playfulness definitely needs to come in and happen for you so that you can get that balance because... 
that was what I was meaning earlier when I was saying to you, it's like you're headed in a direction and it's like if you just work harder and longer hours that you'll get to this place of peace, you know. But the thing is that it's the journey that is, you know, going to bring you to that. So this is where it's so important to balance that out, okay, because you'll get to peace sooner, believe it or not. I don't think you believe that. So this is something that you could experience, right? Be open to experiencing that. Be open to exploring how that can work, how you can make that work. Because if anyone can make it work, it's you, Taurus. Yeah? So this is something that you could set for yourself. Um, yes. I feel like for some of you, you feel like if you slow down, you actually feel quite guilty about doing that. And you feel like you're you're slacking. <laughs> um, yeah. But anyway, the last card here, mindfulness. Oh, I love this. It says, manage your mind. When we direct our thoughts and words toward the outcome we most desire, we ignite grace yeah manage your mind when we direct our thoughts and words toward the outcome we most desire we ignite grace and so that shifting of the energy here Taurus is is I get the sense of you kind of like going I need to be at this on on the timeline because it's like you've got this timeline in your mind of where you need to be at a certain time and it's like if I don't do this then I'm not going to be here and if I don't do that I'm not going to be here and I can't do that because I need to get here and you're sort of going well here's all the reasons I'm not here yet and not actually realizing that that what is happening is it's pushing that line out more and more every time you're acknowledging that you're not where you want to be, okay? Instead of going, I'm on the path. I can't wait to get to here because here is where I'm meant to be. You, What's happening is you're going, I'm not there, I'm not there, I'm not there. And so that's what you keep getting more of. I hope that makes sense, Taurus. I really hope that makes sense. Apply it how it's meant to be applied to your situation, okay? But that is just the very, very strong energy that I'm getting here from some of you, okay? Um, yeah, that's, that's about it, Taurus. All the messages for today. So, yeah. Take the time to do what you need to do to shift that energy, okay? To get in that, that environment that you are the happiest in, okay? Because that is what is going to help you to get the end result that you desire. Okay, Taurus, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.